uh, another incentive would be to look at the physical energy between these two parts and ignore the kilometer because those are the same. And to notice that the differential of a function is equal to that vector multiplied by the displacement. And thinking of well, in terms of the domain of the function, that displacement is really a change of the input for the function then. You may not well, you may avoid thinking about the change in terms of separate coordinates, change of x and change of y separately. Put them together and think of that vector as the change of the input. So you look at the change of the input for the function and you relate it to the change of the output in a very precise linear way. You said that the change of the input multiplied by something is the change of the output. Having that, don't you want to call that the derivative? Saying that df is equal to derivative times t input. Well, the input now is a vector, but there is nothing we can do about it. So that hints us again that this vector, well, notice that this multiplication is not multiplication of numbers, it's a dot product. But still, we know it's a product, so it makes sense to talk about derivative multiplied by the change of input. So that leads to new notation, just to recognize that that's an important concept. The number of f, or the gradient of f, And using that notation, you can write the whole thing in M. EF is the gradient of F, the product is Y. Uh, so, so the agreement is that that vector is the unit of the function at that point. So that vector is associated to this point and at a different point of the domain the gradient is going to be different. Because the function f changes at that point differently so the direction of well, all the directional derivatives are going to be different so that gradient really depends on where to take the point. So it's going to be an assignment of a vector to every single point on the plane. So let's say the gradient of F at this point is that vector. Now the question is, what is it that we can extract from this? This algebra, geometrically. What that says is that this gradient determines completely the rate of change of F in any direction. How can we do that geometrically? 